So right now we're looking at the exterior, interior of the heart and the circulatory system of the dogfish shark. So first we start off with, get closer. First we start off with the, um, with the ventral aorta. Starts off right here and then goes down through connecting to the heart. Right in the middle of the, um, then we have the coronary artery as it goes down to the tube. Right in the middle of that is the conus arteriosus. You go down to the heart, which has ventricles all on it. To the left of the heart, we have the, on this tissue right here is the parietal pericardium. This blue tissue right here is the sinus venosus, and then we have the liver protruding to the heart. That's this whole piece right here. Connecting from to the liver is this little piece of tissue called the falciform ligament, and to the right of the heart. We have this tissue right here that is called the transverse septum. And also to the left and right of the heart, we have the atrium walls. And that's it. Next, we're going to look at the afferent and efferent brachial arteries, which can be found in the gills. So these are your gill slits, and you have your afferent brachial arteries that receive deoxygenated blood. And once they go through the gills, they get oxygenated and exit through the afferent, the efferent brachial arteries. From the efferent brachial arteries, you're going to, your blood is going to run down to the dorsal aorta. which runs the length of the body. It can be seen right here. That's your dorsal aorta. And over here is your rectal gland. And from your rectal gland, you have your posterior mesenteric artery, which is right here. This red strip right there. That's your posterior mesenteric artery. And your gastrosplenic artery stems off of your spleen, which is right here. And your anterior mesenteric artery is here, this one.